so becoming the champion with MDD, as, uh, as the 30% in our group know, um, we are provided with a CAD model with all of the, mod oh, we didn't talk about all of these acronyms. Uh, let me back up a step in case anyone's not familiar with the acronyms. We're gonna be talking about MDD or model-based definition. We're going to be talking about PMI, which is kind of like the heart of all of this. It's product manufacturing information. So as you see on this propeller, there's dimensions and tolerances and tolerance frames and hole callouts and all of the things uh, that are important for defining a product uh, for our shop floor, for our FEA analysts, for the engineers who are checking to make sure there's no interferences or no hysteresis in, uh, in the behavior of our controls or control surfaces, for instance, uh, given an airplane example. So yeah, so that's what PMI is, product manufacturing information. And then you heard me mention MBE, well, as we start to use PMI, uh, which creates an environment for model-based definition, where your model is a single source of truth, we will end up having model-based enterprises. And we could say that uh, you know companies like Northrop Grumman, Pratt & Whitney are model-based enterprises. They are actually continuously hiring people to help with the architecture of, uh, of usage of, uh, of PMI and of MDD. Um, so anyway, so we're providing or being provided a CAD model with, um, with PMI in it. That information um, is basically a replacement for 2D drawings, or it is the modern use of it. And you'll see in the next slides where once we define this PMI in our model, the shop floor guys um, can look at that. There's no longer the need to interpret what a 2D view is because the model is a 3D model and it has the dimensions. Uh, as you'll see, the dimensions can be organized by views to help us make this transition. You know, people are going to need a little bit of time to adjust to the fact that they're not looking at a 2D drawing. Well, you can look at what kind of looks like a 2D view with the PMI in 3D space. Anyway, you'll see that that PMI is going to be used in, uh, in our simulation applications like CAE, FDA, uh, you'll see one of the most beautiful applications of PMI is NXVSA, um, Variation Stack Up Analysis. Um, at a company that I worked at, we actually used Excel back in 2011, uh, where the 2D drawings were taken and the tolerances, the, um, the datums, the whole callouts, were all interpreted into Excel, and through Excel, you could pick in one column one component, and in the row, you would pick another component, and through this Excel table, we could see what the variations may be between the two parts. Well, in, uh, in NX, in BSA, for instance, this computer board, um, you could see what the position is of the RS-232 port with respect to the sheet metal on the outside, and you will actually see basically kind of like an animation. It's going to move the components based on the true position, based on the tolerances and all those things, and help you figure out whether you are set up for success and whether the bulk of your assemblies and products are going to fall into the bell curve as desired.